Today on American Female Serial Killers, we have Gwendolyn Gale Graham. As you may know by now, these take me a very long time, so if you can like, comment, share, copy link, let me know if this is on your For You page, anything to help me get views, I appreciate you to the fullest extent of the law. Okay, so Gwendolyn Gale Graham was actually part of a serial killing duo with Kathy Wood, and Kathy Wood was also in this book, and I did a video on her a while back, so you can look at the American Female Serial Killers page to find the video on her. Gwendolyn Gale Graham was born on August 6, 1963, and Catherine May Wood was born on March 7, 1962. They are both American serial killers convicted of killing five elderly women in Walker, Michigan, a suburb of Grand Rapids, in 1987. They committed their crimes in the Alpine Manor nursing home where they both worked as nurses' aides. Graham and Wood met at the Alpine Manor nursing home shortly after Graham had moved to Michigan from Texas. They quickly became friends and then lovers in 1986. Two years later, they were both facing murder charges for allegedly smothering five elderly patients as part of a love bond. Details of the murders came almost entirely from accounts to criminal justice authorities by Wood, whose murder charges were reduced by plea agreement so that she could testify against Graham in Graham's trial for first-degree murder. However, Wood's accounts and her self-portrayal as Graham's pawn were later brought into serious question by award-winning journalist Lowell Coffiel in his 1992 true crime book, Forever in Five Days. According to Wood's account, in January 1987, Graham entered the room of a woman who had Alzheimer's disease and smothered her with a washcloth as Wood acted as her lookout. The woman was too incapacitated to fight back and thus became the pair's first victim. The woman's death appeared to be natural, so an autopsy was not performed. Wood claimed Graham murdered the patient to relieve her tension, and each felt that the secret of the murder would prevent the other partner from leaving, thus cementing their bond. According to Wood, over the next few months, Graham murdered four more Alpine Manor patients. Their ages ranged from 65 to 97, and they were incapacitated and suffered from Alzheimer's disease. Wood testified that the couple turned their selection of victims into a game, first trying to choose their victims by their initials to spell out murder. But when that became difficult, they began counting each murder as a day as in the phrase, I will love you forever and a day. The couple broke up before their trial and conviction, but were both charged and convicted. However, Wood was released in 2020. Wendell and Gail Graham, however, is still in prison and will be